it's going to be packed and, and every churches will be packed with uh, uh, with uh, worshipers. Uh, but um, uh, the, the fact of the matter is it's not easy. And even to many of us, even for uh, Christians who have uh, been saved before, they have, uh, you, you know, they wavered and, and, and they, uh, uh, they forgot about the, their first love. Um, God made man a free agent with the right uh, of choice. Man's choice is us usually to follow his own will and inclination. And, th and that is true. You know, uh, a lot of times it, it, you still follow your will. You, it, it, you don't. People don't actually really submit themselves uh, to God. To yield one's will to another is will to another is contrary to man's normal desires. It involves meekness, resignation, and obedience, and those are important uh, part of the of submission and willingness. Certainly, all of this and more is necessary if one is to be fully submitted to the will of God. Love paves. The way in Ephesians chapter five verse twenty one instructs us to submit yourselves one to another as well as to God. Beyond this is the submission to circumstances in life that God allows to come our way. Peace of earth and mind and um, victory in one's Christian walk is not possible without learning submission. And it is true. And uh, it's submission. It's very very important. How can you follow if you don't re actually really uh, submit yourself? Easter is the day on which the Christian church celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ. No mention of such a celebration in New Testament is due to the fact that Jewish Christians link the day with their observance uh, of the Passover, which was observed the 14th day of Nisan, regardless of the day of the week. And a gen in, it was the Gentiles, it's us, who believe, uh, believers, who instituted the celebration of the resurrection on Sunday. And that's why also it followed uh, the reason why we, we uh, worship on Sundays and, and, and the Lord's Day. This di difference was settled by the Council of N Nicaea in 325 uh, uh, AD, which ruled the Easter should be celebrated on the first Sunday after the full moon following the vernal equinox. Uh, this is the system followed by Christians at the present time, the date thereby varying between May 20, March 22 to April 25. So that th that is the varying times of uh, Easter. So that's why you, sometimes you go, oh, Easter this uh, year, it's, uh, it's in March. And then the following year, oh, it's in, in, in April. So it uh, switches because of that. But w with the Jewish uh, Passover, when they follow their pa Passover, regardless of the day of the week, they will do that because that's what uh, they they follow. They have their own calendar, and but they when they put it, you know, uh, when they uh, try to make it to the calendar of the Christians, it will be in a different uh, in different days. Seemingly, one of the hardest things for man to do is submit to the will of God. The Apostle Paul says that carnal mind is en enmity against God and it's not subject to the law of God. Romans uh, 8, 7, that's uh, what it says there. For those who wish to make heaven their home, it's absolutely necessary to conform to God's will, not only when our lives are first surrendered to the Lord, but we must submit daily. That is, uh, that is the, uh, you know, uh, getting saved, uh, on a Sunday service or, or, or Friday service, uh, s sometimes it can be it can come quickly and easily. But then the salvation can come can go away quickly as well if we don't protect that salvation. If we are not careful of what we do, what we say, what things uh, you know, and then all of a sudden, oh, I don't have the salvation anymore. Uh, 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 next thing you're fine is uh, you're doing, again, the same things that uh, worldly people is doing. And that's why it is important for us to have our, wi our will. The submission is completely given to God. When you, when you say, Lord, forgive me for my sins, for I'm a sinner. I want to accept you as my personal Savior. And I want you, Lord Jesus Christ, to sit at the, right, the, the throne you know, at the center of my heart so that I can, you know, I can be, you can be with me always, wherever I go, whatever I do, whatever I say, whatever things that I, uh, I would like to accomplish in my life, you are 
part of my life. And that's what you, we do every day, every step. Every, every, that's why we wake up in the morning and, and we pray to the Lord that the Lord will guide us, protect us, and, and do things. You know, in our devotions, we pray to him. In, uh, before we go to bed, we pray to him because those are important things that as Christians has to be doing so that we will be un, uh, will we can protect the salvation in our lives okay so um, the uh, the question here uh, the first question is um, who are who are uh, you know in, in that instance in, in in Matthew 26 36 to 42 this is the time when Jesus Christ went to uh, pray. Uh, in, 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 the, you know, in, in Gethsemane, right? So he uh, went up there. Uh, he brought with him how many people? Uh, why is Judas not there? The 12. He already betrayed him, right? And uh, so he, he, he is with the, 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 the 11. But he, when he went to pray, uh, he called three people, three particular ones. Sister Debbie. James, John, and Peter. Why they? Why, why not, uh, why not uh, the other, Andrew or, or the other ones? Uh, is there any particular reason that we can think why he brought James and John and then Peter? Mm hmm Peter is bold. Uh, Peter is uh, someone who, you know, we, we know the story of Peter. And uh, he, he's got a, a very, uh, uh, you know, good uh, character in, in the Bible until the, the, you know, until the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, in fact. And uh, the transformation of, uh, of St. Peter wasn't completely happened until after the death of Christ. That's when he, you know, and remember, when even when Jesus was... Uh, 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 after the resurrection and uh, they went fishing and he was still the same Peter as he was uh, although he was remorseful of what he had done about uh, his uh, 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 about uh, denying Jesus Christ uh, three times um, he was still Peter the same Peter from the very beginning but why John uh, John is something you know he's got some some uh, you know uh, characteristic in John that uh, I think uh, Jesus uh, uh, loves. Mm -hmm. He's devoted, and uh, he's close to Jesus Christ. And it said that he leaned on uh, the breast of uh, Jesus Christ, and he is actually. That's why they called him John the Beloved, right? So um, that is uh, that is him. Um, It's, it is really interesting to note that these three accompanied uh, Jesus Christ uh, with three different characters and, and, uh, and, uh, and to go there. And yet, when, when Jesus had uh, prayed and uh, they, was, they started to, to what? They fall asleep. And um, uh, they um, um, basically, they've forgotten that Jesus Christ is there and went up there and, and, and started praying. And uh, uh, we all know that he... Jesus Christ is not only praying for, for himself. He's praying for the world. He's praying for the sinners. And that is um, the thing. Um, do you think that the sorrow Jesus felt was only because he, was, he knew he was going to the cross? The sorrow that he was feeling at that time when he, he was at uh, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, uh, Brother Toby. Well, at the time he was going to the cross, he he carried on the burden of the whole world, the sins of the whole world, mm -hmm. in addition to the pain of going to the cross. And we know that God the Father would not behold any sin. So the the, the pain at that time was combined, yes, the fact that he was yeah. um, sorrowful about going to the but also the fact that God the Father would turn away his eyes for him. So as it were, he was on his own yeah. because of that um, circumstance in which he found himself. So that would have could have added more pain and sorrow to him at the time. Yes. And, uh, it, is this, it is sorrowful. You know, he had uh, three years of ministry here on earth, and yet, you know, after three years, how many did actually follow him? People were following him 
for, uh, and he mentioned that a lot of people, that's 5,000 people remember that he fed. Uh, they were following him for, for, for something. A lot of the, them are actually just following him just, uh, just to learn more because they've heard that uh, he's, he's the master. He, he knows a lot of the, about the scripture and they want to learn. Um, and also to, to, uh, they, to know about what, what is Jesus Christ? What is this person? Is he, is he teaching uh, uh, Torah? Is he teaching the, you know, uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, the religion, the Jewish religion, and, and so on? Um, and, and that's why they were following. And even he said, why are you following me? Are you following me because of those uh, uh, bread or food that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, you know, can be spoiled? Um, can rot, and that's uh, that's what he uh, had mentioned even. So um, it is true, and he, he said that in in in, in Matthew twenty six uh, uh, thirty nine it says, and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, "O oh, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as Thou will." So um, why you know the you know, after reading the responses in in in, in this uh, lesson, it's very interesting to find that, that to find out that what is the correlation of that cup, uh, if if it's you know to drink that cup, and then back in the old days, it said that uh, when uh, when a um, when they want to punish someone, when they want to kill someone, they give them the cup of poison and to drink it, and that's why it, it's correlated to that. And, and Jesus Christ had to. He said, if, I, if it's uh, your will, if I, you know, if, if, he said that if it cannot pass me, if, if I have no other way but to drink this cup, I will drink it, uh, my father. So that is because he submitted his will to the Lord God in heaven. He, he wasn't following his own will at that point. In fact, just coming to be born here on earth to become a man, you know, him being uh, in glorious uh, body, he, him being God. And, and that's the way, why Philippians uh, uh, said that uh, he, in, it's not a robbery. It says, uh, let's uh, go back to that one, Philippians 2. Uh, and being found in fashion of man, uh, he said, uh, but made himself of no reputation. Oh, well, let's start with six. Who being in the form of God thought it was it not robbery to be equal with God and made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. And like you and I, when you pinch, you know, you pinch your body, you can feel that. And, you know, and just uh, uh, an example, yesterday, Hadassah and Debbie asked me, what's this uh, um, thing wrapped around me? What happened with my wrist? And I said, I, and just uh, winked at them and said, it's just part of getting old. Um, um, but you know the, the pain that we feel he felt that you know he's he's, he's been through that in fact he, he has done more now, today we are we are remembering that day when he uh, walked you know carried that uh, cross that ugly cross uh, all the way up to the to the Calvary's mountain and then be you know nailed down on that cross and they hang him there and 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 that is you know, if, if, you, if you think about it, uh, and there is a dramatization of the uh, crucifixion uh, that was made uh, in, in movies. And uh, I don't know if uh, that can actually completely uh, tell the real thing that had happened with Jesus Christ. I don't know. Maybe. But maybe. Maybe more. Um, it's probably more brutal than that. Uh, and I'm sure it is. Because... For Jesus Christ to die like that, it, 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 it's not easy. Um, in, the, in, uh, in Luke 22, verse 43, can someone read that? Okay. Sorry, I'm holding a, a bilingual, uh, bilingual Bible. 
43. And there, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Okay, so that, what, what was that? Jesus was in, in the garden of uh, Gethsemane. And uh, who, who, who appeared? An angel strengthening him. Um, in what other ways that this situation can come in, into? You know, what other ways of uh, comfort may in these things may come to Jesus Christ or to us as, as uh, followers of, uh, of, the, of God? In what other ways other than the angel appearing or... Yes, Brother Sean. Sister Michelle answered. <laughs> so um, for us as Christians today, we are in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um, the Holy Spirit will, will always comfort us. And Jesus Christ said if he did not go, the Holy Spirit will not come. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit will come to comfort us. Mm -hmm. And also we as Christians, there are other ways in addition to that, because the Holy Spirit acts on what we know. Mm -hmm. And that's what we know is, first of all, to have a good knowledge of the God's word. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit then triggers that to encourage mm -hmm. us. For instance, he said, if you go through tribulation, mm -hmm. I will be with you, because mm -hmm. you have the knowledge of that. Mm -hmm. Then the second part as a Christian is that our association also is very important. Mm -hmm. um, a good example for myself, I've been in a situation where in the church, it was, I keep saying this, I had issue in my tummy, and it was a testimony in the church during a prayer that somebody said, he was in a prayer session, and they said, don't pray for yourself, but we have another brother or sister that was sick. Pray for that person, and God will touch you. Mm -hmm. That was an encouragement for me, and uh, I said, God, I'm tapping into this, and I tapped into it. Mm -hmm. I went to go and pray. I came back, and forgotten about the pain. And something just said to me, touch that pain. I touched it and it was gone. Amen. So our association is also important. Amen. The people we work with, and that was why the Bible said, can two work together yeah. if they are not, if yeah. they don't agree. Yes, Amos 3.3, 3, yes. And, uh, and it's true, you know, and especially at that point, uh, he, Jesus tries to get comfort from the, the, the three. And yet, and that's why it's important as Christians for us as well, for every one of us to give comfort for one another. You know, we don't have to wait. Brother Wally doesn't have to wait for the for the uh, angel of the Lord to come and give him comfort when he is in, in grief or uh, in troubles. You know, or Brother Benga, he doesn't he doesn't have to wait for the angel of the Lord. It, it can come in in uh, many different forms. You know, uh, he, us as Christians will have to to comfort each other. Um, it, that is a very important uh, uh, aspect of being a Christian is for us to give comfort to, to, to our brethren. Um, are, they, are, they, are they okay? Are they feeling good? And, and stuff like that. Because you can be that angel uh, from, um, from God that day to give comfort to Sister Beth, to Brother Toby, to Sister Florence, uh, to, to, to Sister Alice, and everyone. And that is very, very important that we as Christians to learn also to give comfort to one an, an another. And that's uh, one thing. Okay, so. Uh, we we talk about the, the cup there. Right? Uh, briefly discuss this. Why didn't the Father in heaven spare his own son? This is uh, interesting, actually. Uh, this uh, point number five. Uh, why did he spare his own son? Uh, at that point, uh, the reading is pretty uh, long in uh, uh, Romans 5, 8 to, uh, to 21. We're not going to go through there. Uh, but uh, briefly, who can tell me why? Why, why did he, 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 uh, he was praying. He was kneeling, you know, he was in the garden and, and uh, praying to God. And uh, he's sweating. What did, what did came out of Jesus even? Blood, you know. Oh, how, how sorrowful is that? Yes, Brother Penga. You. There was a mission that was to be accomplished. Uh, Jesus came to this world. Mm -hmm. I feel the most painful part of his death was that he wasn't dying because he was guilty. Mm -hmm. He wasn't dying because um, of himself. Yes. Um, it must have been a very serious agony for him and even the father. So Jesus' sees, uh, death was for a purpose mm -hmm. so that 
the uh, first Adam that failed yeah. uh, could be replaced and yeah. that humanity could be redeemed. Amen. That's right. So Jesus was actually fulfilling a purpose and God was submitting his own son yes. to fulfill that purpose. Amen. Don't you think even God himself, uh, God the Father, is sorrowful when this was happening? Yes, yeah, Sister Becky. The Bible tells us that the consequences of uh, sin is death. Mm -hmm. And without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. That was just the only way that it could have been done. There was just no other way. Yeah. Jesus had to do this for us to all be saved. Amen. So what? If, if God said, okay, let's abort it, you know, the mission, abort it. I'm going to call you back here. Where are we today? We will be sorrowful today. Because there's no chance for you and I to have a part of that eternal life. That's the only way. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's, 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 that's the whole thing. You know, if, if we think about it, why did he do that? Why did he, he go down there? Uh, why did he, he even uh, submit uh, to that? He can basically say, Father, could you send somebody else? But that's not his will. That's not Jesus Christ. He wants to set an example, that very example, no matter who you are, no matter who you are in the society, if the Lord calls you to do something, it is his will. It is his will. Cannot be ours, you know. If I follow my, 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 my emotion, or my, my will, it, it, will, it will be a different direction. No, uh, I just want to... Uh, you know, it, it's not, I, I just want to take this opportunity as a, a small example uh, of submitting your will to God. My wife and I came to Canada to have a better life, right? We have so many dreams. We had so many dreams. Then little by little, we came to church, started the attending church, and then I got a call from Reverend uh, uh, Rene Castle, and he said, Brother Randy, we want you to put, consider becoming a minister of Apostolic Faith Church. And I said, what can I do? And then came again, Brother Randy, we ask you to please lead the, wor the work in Toronto. What can I do? It's God's will. And I always uh, tell my wife, I said, you think, uh, you know, you don't, don't say, pray to God, pray about it, pray to God. God's not going to change his decision. Just like what he did to, to, the, to his decision for Jesus Christ to, uh, to, to suffer, um, you know, uh, uh, under uh, Pontius Pilate and, and the people, the Jewish people, and, be, and, and the Roman soldiers, and, uh, and be punished in, in uh, such a way that no one uh, can, can actually imagine. And, uh, and then this one again. I, I receive a call and saying, Brother Randy, you have a higher calling now. You're going to pastor in, in Bidarm. And that is, you know, just th I, I just think about it. Every time, every day, I, I, I go to Google Maps and Google Bidarm, and it's in, you know, it's in an area where there's not many people, you know, by the, by the bay, close to, uh, to uh, Atlantic Ocean. And I said, but you know, it's beautiful. And I... It is really beautiful there. And uh, I know it's, it's going to be, uh, and my wife said, it is going to be hard. I said, yeah, but, I, you know, it's God's will. It's a perfect submission. If I would follow my will, I would probably be, uh, you know, studying today and something and becoming an engineer or, 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 or a doctor even. But no, <laughs> I, I don't think that's the will of God. If I would follow that, that is not the will of God. You know, it's a, um, I've been to many places in Asia and, and, and trained people uh, in, in the industry and, and all that stuff. But, you know, what I'm doing now here is different uh, than what I was thinking of. 
you know, what I plan for myself. But because the submission, I, I, I leave it to the Lord. You know, I'm just, I, I, I just gave that as an example, not to, you know, not to make myself uh, feel better or to be better. But, you know, I just want to cite that as an example, brothers and sisters, that it is the will of God. When, when he said he'll do it, he'll help you, he will help you. And, and, and um, this is the same thing that uh, happened with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know. He didn't uh, stay in dead. Today, we remember that he arose. He is risen, right? And, and that is uh, what it is. So um, in uh, number uh, six here, what condition would, well, we, we talk about that already. Of course, if, 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 he, if he didn't um, uh, follow God's will, the condition of the world today is even worse. Uh, and I think uh, um, there'll be no... Um, Morality, you know, there's, there's nothing. Um, you don't have, uh, uh, your consci everyone's conscience might not be the same. You don't have that feeling that uh, somebody bigger than you and I uh, up there is watching over us. That would be the, the type of feeling because there's no hope, no salvation if Jesus Christ didn't die on the cross, right? So, um there are other biblical examples who followed the will of God. And uh, I want us to, to take on, on those as well. Uh, Jesus is a, the perfect example of following the will of God. But us as, as believers, as, as human beings, we have these examples that we would like to, to follow too. That we would like to set our, you know, our, our side on them and say, look what they've done. What, what are, you know... Uh, what a beautiful um, uh, reward or or outcome it came out because they followed the uh, the will of God. Um, who wants to take on Esther? What what's uh, what is uh, what's God's will that came to Esther that she has to follow? Y yes, Brother Wally. Um. God used um, God wanted Esther to go and speak to the king, even though it was against the custom of that mm -hmm. time for her mm -hmm. to approach the king without being invited. But it was God's will for her to go and intervene on behalf of the Jewish people, and she took it upon herself, even though she knew the danger that um, going in could, could mean her being killed. Yeah. But she still submitted and went into the king, and God granted her favor. Amen. You know. Um Upon the, upon the request of uh, her own cousin Mordecai, he he uh, he, came, he, he was there, covered him himself with uh, ashes, and uh, dressed himself with sackcloth, uh, as a, I, I think um, as a, uh, uh, what do they call it today when you uh, when when those people walk to the parliament again. Uh, uh, Yeah, the old uh, convoy, right? It, it's something like that. Sorry, I, in the word just slipped off of my mind. But anyway, so that is a, a protest. That because, uh, you know, because uh, the Persian uh, king is going to, you know, kill or, uh, or uh, expel the, peop the, the Jewish people away. And Mordecai, uh, him uh, being elder, to to his cousin Esther and brought her and 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 take took care of her and until she became one of the queens of uh, of uh, king uh, of the king of uh, of Persia. So that is the will of God. That is what is the will of God. She followed uh, that. And how about uh, Daniel? What's uh, what what can we tell about uh, Daniel following the will of God? Brother Moses. Daniel was happy to sacrifice his goodwill with the king. Mm -hmm. uh, he was, he was um, in, in, in order to uh, do the will of God, that mm -hmm. is praying three times a day mm -hmm. in order to prioritize the, the, the things of Christ, even at his own uh, peril, at the peril of risking his own relationship with, uh, with um, high-ranking men. 
Yes, and 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 that's right. You know, uh, he could have just he could ju have just said, hey, you know, I'm I, I'm high ranking official here as well. So why don't I just follow the king's uh, uh, desire? But no, he followed God's will for him and for the people of Israel. What about uh, Moses? Uh, will of God. For Moses, we remember when he was caught from the bunny bush, mm -hmm. that God called him that, okay, now I've heard the pain, the cry of my people, and there is time for them to go. Yeah. Um, Moses, let's say as human being, mm -hmm. let's remember that he committed a crime, yeah. that he killed an Egyptian, yeah. and uh, he needs to fly, he needs to run for his life. Yeah. So at this time that God called him, he was ready to do God's will, yeah. and at the same time was ready to ensure that his people are delivered. So for human being, probably I would have said, no, I'm not going. I knew what is waiting for me. But we thank God that Moses allowed himself yeah. to be used of God. Amen. And that's true, you know, uh, leading the whole nation, uh, hundreds of thousands of people, if not million at that time, uh, I don't think that uh, is an easy uh, task. And how about Noah? What is the will of God that uh, in that uh, Noah had, uh, to follow? Yes, Brother Benga. The Bible says that um, Noah found favor. Mm -hmm. In that uh, corrupt generation, mm -hmm. God could see someone he could use mm -hmm. to uh, fulfill his purpose. Mm -hmm. It took a long time. He had to still trust God, yeah. knowing that what God had said he was able to do. And <coughs> he kept following him. Mm -hmm. until he prepared the ark for the salvation of his household and the animals that were, that were in the uh, ship with him. Until the rain, rain came, he kept trusting God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so it, it's, it, it is always God's will that will help you uh, to, to, to bring you to the point of... Uh, where you are, you know, where you, where God wants you to be. If not because of the will of God, then if not because of following of the will of God, you want, uh, uh, we won't be able to, to, uh, to make to the point where we are, uh, we receive this, uh, the, 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 the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In fact, we, you know, if we don't submit ourselves completely to God, even though we are already saved, it's impossible. I'm telling you. It is impossible to receive the, this, the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that is true. Amen. It is true. Yes, Sister Michelle. Somebody came to my mind is um, Joseph, mm -hmm. right? Joseph submitted his life, you know, to the Lord. Um, <coughs> Um, God used him to save his family from famine, and um, he himself realized that, you know, God, it was God's plan for him to be sold into slavery, mm -hmm. and um, even when his brothers came to look for him, and they realized that it was him, yeah. you know, he told them, you know, I'm not mad at you, I'm not angry at you, mm -hmm. because it was God's will for me to be here, mm -hmm. you know, so that I'm put in this position to, um, to be able to save, save his people. Amen, then that's true, you know. Uh, and again, it's all about will. Yes, sister. Yeah. And then we close from there. Yeah. I also wanted to say um, about Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mm -hmm. She was a virgin and spouse to someone. And yeah. this angel comes and says she's going to have the yeah. savior of the world. And Mary says, yeah. be it unto me according to thy word. That's submission. That's right. Yeah. And, and look at that, you know. If not for that, then... Um, you know, she's uh, used to uh, to carry Jesus Christ and uh, to be born, and uh, in this uh, world. So um, um, that is following God's will as well. I'll give you one minute, Sister Anya. The will of God for mankind is to be saved mm -hmm. and have the salvation. We shouldn't be taking care of ourselves only. God wills for us is to go out yes. and tell people about him. He says the harvest is plenteous, but mm -hmm. he needs people to come and help him 
bring people to his kingdom. Mm -hmm. He has this amazing love mm -hmm. for us. But we have to yield ourselves. We have to be humble yeah. and give up whatever we have for helping mankind so that the kingdom of God can be populated. Amen. Amen. And, and that's, uh, that's it. So um, in closing, um, it, just a point number eight there. What are the, some of the ways we can ascertain whether a certain course of action is the will of God for us? Of course, you know, read the Bible, pray about it. And uh, like uh, Gideon, he asked for a sign. Um, and whatever sign that God uh, can give you. We have so many testimonies about God answering our, our prayer, uh, you know, and, and putting his will on us and for us to submit ourselves uh, to his will and, and so on. And uh, it happened before, and it's still happening to this day. And I tell you, it's not going to stop happening until the day when uh, the Lord comes and takes uh, uh, his uh, victorious ones. And uh, it's my prayer that each and every one of us will be victorious. And uh, someday, you know, someday soon, if the Lord Terry's is coming, maybe after this service, he'll come. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe at the, at the middle of the concert today, he'll come. We don't know that. But one thing for sure is that if we submit ourselves to God completely and giving him everything, not leaving anything, you know, in the back and say, you know, partly only, Lord, you know, I can, I can do a little bit. No, that's not submission. That's partly submission. And, and, and it's, not, it's not going to be good. For us, anyway, if that is what we do, so continue to uh, to submit ourselves to God, follow His will, for He will see us through. Let's all stand for a, a short prayer, and then we will we can after that we can kneel down pray before uh, the uh, Easter concert starts at ten ten uh, today. And by the way, uh, we will have some uh, refreshment after the concert uh, today. So uh, we don't have to worry much about leaving early. As I've heard, I, I was told that the next group using the place will not be uh, here. So we got extra hour, hour and a half uh, to clean up after that. Okay, so let's uh, pray. Brother Moses, if you can please uh, lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a day like this when we are being taught uh, the, 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 the concept of submission, the concept of yielding our will to you. We say glory be to your holy name. Let it redeem us. We have learned through the Sunday school. We realize that by man's own power, it's yeah. very difficult, almost impossible to achieve. Yes. But when we lean on you, when we trust in you, you are able to help us to yield ourselves to you. My Lord and my God, the grace to be able to lean on you today. Come and give yes. it to us. Let us save you, everyone present here today, Lord Jesus. We want to be able to say like you, not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. For my Lord and my God, in all things that concerns us, Lord Jesus, in our spiritual walk with you, let the Redeemer, even in all other things that concerns us, give us the grace to be able to yield to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. My Lord and my God, we have come here to see the risen Savior. We have come here to see the, you know, the God that is alive. You know, we have come here to see the God that has paid the ultimate price for us. Savior divine, we pray that you let no one live here without making contact with you. Blessed Redeemer, come and, come and, come and, come and reveal yourself to us in a new way. In our, in our, in our personal lives, in, in, in this church, in our families, come and reveal yourself to us anew, my Lord and my God. You know, the service is going to continue shortly. Blessed Savior, we want your name to be glorified Amen. in all that we have planned for the rest of today. Blessed Redeemer, let your beauty be seen in them all, Lord Jesus. Amen. Savior divine, we want the song to speak to our hearts. We want the song to draw us closer to you. Yes, we want the songs to be to help us and aid us, Blessed Redeemer, on this pilgrimage. Come and do that for us, Lord Jesus. And as we continue to labor faithfully for you, Blessed Redeemer, continue to hold our hands as well, and at last allow us to see you, we want to see you face to face, do this for us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.